How's it going guys? Panther Films here, and today we're going to be reacting to Season 7, Episode 10 of Fear the Walking Dead. This episode is titled, Morning Cloak. Last episode was basically filler. Nothing of importance really happened, other than the same shit that happened at the end of Episode 8. Alicia found faith in herself to become a leader, and to listen to herself... And some guy called Paul died. And Arnold and the Stalkers found the initial like impact crater from the nuke. Or one of the impact craters, because it was a bunch of different nukes that went off. The episode didn't make any sense at all, because episode 8 ended with Alicia threatening Strand and saying that she's going to go to war with him. And then episode 9 starts with her in a random house with this, this deaf guy. It's just It's just weird. It's bad pacing, it's bad storytelling, it just feels poor. Like this this season just has a weird pattern of like teaming up like the main fear cast with some random new character and like teaching them a lesson or getting taught a lesson by them. Like episode one was Will with Strand. Episode two was like the family or the husband and wife that were with like, you know, they stole the baby, right? The baby. And episode three was was it Cindy Hawkins, right? Like, the vision that John Dory Sr. was having. So, it, it it's just weird. Like, having one main fear character, like, getting taught a lesson by another random character that we've never seen before, and then they die by the end of the episode or something like that. It's just stupid. The only character who hasn't died is the one that was with Dwight and Chevy. She was the boxer, right? Or the wrestler. And she hasn't come back since that episode she appeared in. So... so what the fuck is happening based off the promo for this episode it seems like it's going to be a charlie focus one which honestly i'm not even surprised they've released two episodes because if if this one's bad too just get it out of the way you know <laughs> it makes sense and maybe next episode episode 11 is the actual mid-season premiere these two i swear to god if this one's just as bad as last episode but it is Fear the Walking Dead, so I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, let's stop doing our laying around and get right into the fucking episode. That's not Padre. Oh yeah, what's going on with the Padre thing? I did, I just completely forgot about it. Is that where Madison is? Howard sent for me. See if I can find Howard. Maybe he wants me to join them. Not today. What? Well, where the fuck did Howard come from? Howard's baffling. At like the end of last season, he seemed like this innocent guy. And now he seems like this badass in a way. <laughs> Who's that going to be? When Victor says you are. Who the fuck is this kid, dude? How old are you, Ollie? Fifteen. Fifteen. Ollie? This is not just any butterfly. And Victor has got the perfect spot for it on the shelf. Dude, this is filler. The, the, you, you don't spend a whole episode about finding a fucking butterfly. I could tell you stories from when I first got out of the academy. Victor no, asked it. you to assist me while he's gone. Not spook the kid with your old war stories. You see, they started as one thing, and became something else. And now they're dead. And trapped in a jar. Show Victor what you're capable of. I mean, Victor survived by being a shit. Like, honestly, if Victor was a thing about Rick, he'd be dead. Rick would have killed that motherfucker so long ago. Where is he for it to be, like, perfectly fine? There's no, like, indication of nuke fallout. I mean, maybe it is nuke fallout. It's just the nuke didn't do shit. <laughs> well, at least he got it. Unless it's the whole episode is about him trying to get it back. Who, who the fuck is this character, though? Why, why do I care about this character? Is this another character that's going to die by the end of the episode? Swear to fucking God, dude. If they do that, they need to cancel this show. Who is this? Turn around. Is that Charlie? <laughs> what? I don't understand what she was trying to do there. I was just a kid. Yeah, well, what does that make you? What were you stealing? Why is she on her own? John? Howdy, Charlie. One of Morgan's. Hmm. Why is she out on her own? The fuck is this, dude? It's happened twice now. Alicia was out on her own. Why do I care about this going on? fucking guy? Just come with us. Who cares about this kid? I told 
It is a Charlie episode. Oh! The theme's kind of bad. Victor is out ensuring the safety of this tower. How is he ensuring the safety when there's a massive horde outside? I want to live here. I know everything about Victor's former allies. Look, I knew that it was the only way that I could be a part of this. <laughs> Did I just say double chill it's Mitchell? It's a normal way. I'll be 13 this week. I just don't want to fight anymore. And I know that this is where I can do Ew, it. Ew, what the fuck are these camera angles? Look, I know whatever I can do to prove to you that I want to be here, I'll do it. We have a problem in the infirmary. Those are radiation bills. We've seen a lot out there. So how do you wind up here? I'm not telling you anything. You want to go out there, and you could just stay in here. What the what hell the was fuck? that? It's what Victor would have wanted. Probably just didn't want to suffer anymore. I thought this place was safe. It is. Well, what was he scouting for? Parts. I mean, what if I can get them for you? Not necessarily. Are you kidding me? Look what happened to the other scouts. We leave tomorrow. Ollie, you'll go with her. If I want to hear play by play about my sister. Ollie, can we talk? What's it about? Finding out why Charlie's really here. Look, things like this are never easy. I get that. You said you wanted to be a ranger. This is what rangers do. Is it? I mean, they just seem like standard goons. I know a place to hold on. Why does it seem like, like, I don't get it, dude. It doesn't even seem like they're in some nuclear fallout area. Oh! Is fucking Roman Bellic here? Let's go bowling! I have always wanted to play a game. Don't move. What is he doing? Why would he go closer to the, the door? What? How did he know a shotgun was there? They're gone. Must have just been passing through. Will you show me how to play? You really never bowled before. Don't tell me they're gonna fucking fall in love. Some stupid shit like this that's rushed as fuck relationship. Falling in love within one episode is so dumb. Come on, it'll only take like five minutes. This sun got him. This is weird. Why do why should I care about this? Like what is this fella dude? Fucking rushed relationship. He's gonna die by the end of the episode. I I am calling it. Why would you leave that there though and not take it? Muhammad and Ali. Yeah, yeah. He loved boxing. This is his. Yeah, set. this doesn't. This doesn't look like a set piece. Garcia said there was a lot of dead inside. I've done this before. Remember? I'm coming with you. Look, it's better if I go alone. Anything happens, be on Channel Four, okay? You don't want to get exposed to whatever Garcia was. I know. Ew! Fucking ADR, dude. His, his lips weren't moving in that shot. Like, his mouth wasn't moving at all. And the audio changed. Jesus Christ, what is this budget, dude? <laughs> Conveniently, the door is... Hands up. Open. Oh. How did Charlie not see them when she was high up? I'm not even a ranger. What about your friend? We're going in. Move. <laughs> I hate fucking shit like that. Move. Punches him so he falls to the ground. Like, if you wanted him to move, why did you even punch him? Just grab him and move him forward. Like, it's fucking stupid. Open the door. Is that easy? Every door's somehow open. Get back. Back up. As if they wouldn't just shoot him right now. Ew, look at that digital fucking blood on the car. They have range and they somehow got it killed. How to waste bullets 101. Are you okay? Why don't she have a mask? One of them got off my mask while I was closing the door and I'm not going anywhere. I mean, from the promo, it showed them getting into the elevator with the walkers coming, right? I saw what you did outside. That's the only way. I didn't tell you the truth about why I came to the tower. Morgan sent me. Why the fuck would Morgan send you? You made me believe you, you made me help you. When Strand finds out about this- He won't! Of course he will! Because I'm not gonna go through with it! Yeah? I'm serious. Not if I have to put you in danger to get it. Not if you have to put him in danger. You literally just met the motherfucker. Ali? Don't do this! 
Why would the walkers not go after him? Like none of them went after him? We don't have to get stuck in the middle. You mean we? You just fucking met him. <laughs> They're just moving their fingers like Ooh. How many bullets does he have in that fucking pistol? Dude, he shot the all the ones when he was coming in. He shot What is this like rushed love all story those things dude? That you never got to do. We can still do them. Don't. Don't. Are you still going? That was a first. Yeah. So much better than bowling. Oh my god. What the fuck is this show, dude? <laughs> it's okay, I got you. What the fuck happened? Stable. What do you mean stable? What's wrong with her? She was exposed to radiation. You can treat it, right? No. I'm so sorry. Wasn't Grace exposed to a shit ton of radiation too? And she came out fine? Hey, I mean, if Charlie dies, Charlie dies, but I'd rather Madison killed her. Whatever. They sort of look like the ones we saw in that building. Why do I care about this kid? Why, why are we focusing on this kid? She can't kick her out. She's sick. She's sick because that's what the world out there has to offer. Why did you bring her back here after what we discussed? Let me guess Howard's going to kill him at the end of the episode, just to prove a point. Or Charlie. We'll have to wait for Victor to get back to sign off. They couldn't even get Victor in the episode. Because the actor wasn't on set or some shit. So they have to like think of a sneaky way to bite him out of the story. Because that really starts to show like how bad the budget is. When they start writing out the main characters and saying, oh, they're off on a, you know, on a run. They're not. It's just, you couldn't get the actor for this episode. I'm scared, are we? She, she was so, showing no signs of radiation poisoning, though. Or burns. She's not even coughing up blood. Like that other guy was at the beginning of the episode. Happy birthday, Charlie. Your only true love? They literally just met! Are they barely doing a montage? I'm supposed to turn off that light. I need to find a way to tell them what's going on. Okay, they've kissed three times in the span of like 15 minutes of an episode. They've kissed more times than fucking Glenn and Maggie did. And at least their relationship took a while to even get started. It wasn't one episode. He's gonna turn off the beacon now. This is why he sent her. Why the fuck was Howard did? Oh wow, well. Don't do it, please! It's what Victor would do. You're not Victor though. Oh she's gonna see him fall over. <laughs> Yes, you back off unless you want to join him. He left me no choice. I mean, you didn't have to kill him. You had guns pointed at him. He's right, Jim. Look what happened to her out there. Lay one hand on her, I will kill you myself. He needs me more than he needs you. True. Charlie stays with me under my care. There's only one way things are gonna change, and that's if I can get in Strand's ear. Ever since I got here, I've been hiding. Because the season was slow and full of terrors. Such a just a rehash of like season six. Really, that's the end of the episode. Oh, Daniel. I'm Luciana. Who's being munched? Also, them scenes with like Dwight and Morgan in the sub. I bet you they're the only scenes they're in next episode. I mean. What, what do I say about that episode other than it's literally the same shit as last episode. They meet a character, they connect with that character in some kind of fashion. In this case, 
Charlie fell in love, which... <sighs> Shit writing. It's like Daryl and Leah all over again. Like, this random woman just appears and then they fall in love. It's basically the same with this episode. Like, this random kid that we haven't met before just falls in love with Charlie. Which... <sighs> It's just stupid. And then he dies at the end anyway. Literally like last episode. Every episode this season has done the exact same thing. Except like episode 7. Which probably is my favourite episode this season I think. Episode 7. When like Morgan goes into the tower. Because that, that was like solely focused on... Well I mean it didn't progress the story at all. Nothing happened but... It, it was a good episode you know. For what it was. Even though there was no story progression. And yet again, this is the same thing with this episode. No story progression again. Other than, okay, um, John Dory's being the man in Victor's ear. Or the angel on Victor's shoulder. And Charlie's uh, dying. Hopefully she doesn't die before Madison gets back. Because I want Madison to find out that she killed Nick. And then Madison's like, you know what, just to put you out of your misery, I'm just going to kill you right now. They won't do it though, they don't have the balls, because they'd rather focus on uninteresting characters than the ones that actually made the show popular in the first place. I feel like it's an anthology style they're going for, but it's just so weird, like, bring in these new characters, focus on them, sideline the main characters, and then the new characters that they add in, I killed by the end of the episode anyway. It's just, it's like two episodes in a row that have literally done the same exact thing. Now it makes sense why they did two episodes. I feel, I, I don't know, part of me is just feeling like I should just give up on this show. Like in terms of reactions anyway, I'll probably still watch it in my own time and then just shit on it completely in my own time. Because I just don't think it's even worth reacting to. Like this whole season's been bad. Season five, season six was okay. I had somewhat faith in season six. The only thing I'm looking forward to this season is Madison coming back. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, they're going to go to war with Victor in the last, like, three episodes of the season anyway, because that's typical Walking Dead build-up. You know, like, build-up for whole six episodes, the final two are dedicated to, like, the battle. But it builds up, 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 bu cliffhanger. It builds up, it builds <laughs> that's literally what happens, everything. Walking Dead related. Did Lenny James direct this episode? I mean, I, directing wise, some of the shots were good. The acting's good. The music's fine. Everything's fine. Except the writing. Like, I, because of the writing, like, the story isn't going anywhere, which makes the episode kind of redundant. I just don't understand, like, why why have 16 episode seasons if you can't make every episode good? It's, it's not hard. It, it really isn't to, hard to make every episode fucking good. Like, I don't like shitting on shows that much, other than Game of Thrones, but that that, that was a disaster in, in the making. I just don't like shitting on shit when I don't need to shit on it. I only shit on it when it just isn't interesting me as much as it was. Not gonna lie, I might have been falling asleep this episode. You know, I think I closed my eyes for a couple of seconds, just, I was like this, I was, I was like dozing off, because it's just like... <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand what's happening, we're not going anywhere. It's not keeping my interest, dude. If next episode of Fear the Walking Dead doesn't meet my standards of a good episode, I am going to stop reacting to Fear the Walking Dead until Madison shows back up. So the episode Madison pops back up in, that'll be the episode I react to. And then the rest of the season, if it's like episode 15 or something like that. That is the plan. But to replace Fear the Walking Dead, if you know next episode isn't good... I'll react to Better Call Saul. That could be a good plan. React to Better Call Saul and, and replace Fear the Walking Dead with that. Hey, I mean, my favourite show is Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul is fucking, it's nearly as good as, well, I, actually, you know what, in some parts, Better Call Saul does beat Breaking Bad, I think, maybe even better than Breaking Bad in many ways. It, it's just, oh, they're so good. Both shows are so good. Yeah, next episode, seems like we're getting Daniel and Luciana, who we haven't seen this whole fucking season, by the way. And Dwight and Sherry in the sub with Morgan. It's weird that Dwight and Sherry are in the sub, but we haven't seen um, 
that vessel that they were with. I, I forgot her name. I mean, you can't blame me. It's been months since that episode. I, I kind of want this show to be cancelled. Just cancel this show. Renew the main show. Bring all the fair characters to the main show and then make them go up against the CRM. Problem solved. I said it, you know, last reaction with episode 9. Just have all Walking Dead characters in one show going against this big, big, bad CRM. For this big climactic end to the Walking Dead universe, but AMC can't afford that for some fucking reason. Like, they have all this money in the world and then don't give the budget to their shows. It's just stupid. You get episodes like this because they AMC doesn't give their shows the budget they need. So we get these anthology episodes where it's not even focused on the main cast and they can't even bring in a lot of the main cast, like Victor. You know what I mean? They, they gave, gave an excuse saying like, oh, Victor's on a run, he's out there somewhere. It's like, no, you just couldn't get the actor because you schedule him fucked up, didn't it? Or you just don't have the budget to have every actor in one episode for this season anyway. That's why they did the nuke so they could separate every character so they wouldn't be spending a lot of money on the season. Like, Grace was in this episode. You know what I mean? But she didn't do anything. She just appeared, said like two lines of dialogue, then left. Like, I don't understand it. I may have laughed when Ollie or Ali fell. Can you blame me though? I mean, it's such a fucking ridiculous way to go out. You just see him fall past the window, it's funny as fuck. Another wasted episode, another wasted character, which is Ali. No story progression. At all. Nothing of importance happened. At all. Other than, I guess, Howard wants to become somewhat like Strand. And he's threatening June. That's not really story progression though, that's just more character motivations and character related shit. It's not progression. 10 out of 10 episode, in terms of how shit it was. So keep these kind of episodes up, Fear the Walking Dead, and hopefully you get cancelled soon. That'll save us all the misery of watching this shit pile of a show. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. ta, -ta in Fear. And I know that was a bit harsh, but it's true.